Level 3 Podcast, and we are here in the Philips booth looking at some of their new technology, and I'm here with... Margriet, Margriet Neiders. I'm leading the MR product management team for Philips, nice. uh, and I come from uh, our global offices in, uh, in the Netherlands. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Nice. Well, it looks like you guys have a really nice setup here, so tell us about what you guys are yeah. doing. We actually have a very uh, big lineup this year, so we have four key new MPIs. Oh, nice. And the biggest one is what we're looking at here, is uh, Philips in 2018, we launched our first helium-free system. Have you heard about that? Oh, no, I haven't. No. Helium-free, completely helium-free, huh? It's helium-free MR operations, so oh, okay. there's still no seven liters of uh, helium. I see. But we are the first, we're the first in the industry. And today, uh, we are announcing actually our second system. Oh, wow. Uh, a 1.5D scanner, also helium-free. But that's not the amazing thing about it. I mean, helium isn't a shortage, so I mean, that's pretty amazing, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. And it's amazing that it's also, we want to do this no compromise, so you right. get helium free, but good image quality as well. Oh, right, right. So we don't want to make any compromises. Right. But the new thing about this scanner is that it's indeed helium free, uh, but we have optimized the workflow because we believe patient centricity is key, so we optimize the setup starting with the patient. So we have a little thing, but a big thing for the patient, these comfort mattresses. So if you're in the scanner, it's much lighter. But we also have... Uh, like Tempur-Pedic or something? Yeah, yes. it's like a deep, <laughs> memory uh, phone, you, right? you can fall asleep. Yeah. Uh, we have new lightweighted coils. I'm going to get them. Now, is there, is there a coil that's integrated? In? So these are the new... This is actually one of the bigger ones. New, uh, new lightweighted coils. Oh, nice. Yeah. It still has... Pretty good amount of channel, like same what you would expect, right? Yeah, yeah, same but channel. Just and compared to the current uh, uh, ambition range, oh, nice. same image quality. Oh. So we position it a bit below, but the image quality is still the same. Still Plus lightweighted coils. Uh, so next to that, we said patient centricity is key. Lightweighted coils, you see them there, but also the whole experience inside. So how do you reduce anxiety? How do you make sure that the exam is as comfortable as possible? Right. So Philips, we partner, for example, with Disney, but we also have partner with other animations. And once you enter the room, you can choose your own ambience. Really? But also indoor, there's a lot happening. Oh, like an indoor ambience? So there's patient guidance. So you will hear, okay, the, all the next steps that are happening, you will hear uh, the guidance. So do you want to try it out? I am definitely ready to try it out. Okay, so you Shall I take you my shoes off? You, no, you can keep your he can keep yeah, your shoes on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you feel like you want to take out your phone, I know, I but do he's every not time. on. Uh... <laughs> You can really see the picture so clear. You can see it, it's, it's insane. It eh? is so insane. You it's see so here the clear. mirror, you can see him. You feel less, uh, you feel more comfortable, yeah, right? This is really, really cool. I didn't think the mirror could really pull off this type of uh, clarity. This yeah. This is really nice. Oh, nice. So let us Yeah, I can come on out. Yeah, this is, this is amazing. And the scan is ready. So. Because I feel like there's like, is there a voice or something that kind of talks to you? Normally there's some headphones. We just don't uh -oh. have them set up. Set up? Yeah. Okay. So I thought some, I heard some, like some kind of automated type of thing talking to me. But that was really cool. That mirror sound. Man. Yeah, it's really bringing another dimension and you don't right. feel the. Uh, so I'm not taking my phone because I'm bored, but because I want to show you what we also do. <laughs> we believe in uh, the health continuum. So you have the home, the hospital, pre and post care. Right. So we believe that patient. Uh, preparation starts at home. So next to the collaboration with Disney, we've also set up this for little children. We know it's uh, oh, like a quite game. a phase. They, we have a pediatric coaching app. Oh, so at home, yeah, before the, uh, I can show you. So they can prepare uh, before they go to the uh, exam. They can prepare, so this is Ollie. And Oli is explaining what is an MRI, so what can you expect? Oh, this is in nice. touch now. Hello, oh, I'm going to have an exam. Um, 
So they get to kind of see what to expect before we even get there, huh? Yeah. So they're not as... Because the unknown is kind of scary, right? Yeah. So... So you, you hear the sound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is cool. So they do this at home. Then they know what to expect, fully prepared. And when they come to the uh, exam, Ollie, the little elephant, we have layovers. So they will see Ollie again. Oh, and then everybody's that. happy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ollie, I like yeah. that too. And the cool thing is because we notice that actually grown ups like this as well. Right. So we're developing also now applications for more adults, but you still can keep it in this playful. So everybody feels more comfortable right. while coming. It kind of just kind of makes you comfortable, takes your mind away from everything that's going on. And yeah. You see a familiar face in Ollie, right? Can't yeah. Can't beat that. <laughs> yeah. So that's our scatter, the, the patient experience. But what we are really excited about is technology, of course. Right. So what we want to show to you, Phil, can you give a quick, uh, so we have, we say, we patient, we start with the patient. We have smart connected systems because we apply AI throughout. Okay. So we do not only use AI with advanced imaging uh, uh, solutions, but we also apply AI in our workflow. So we introduced this year MR Workspace. Oh. And MR Workspace is actually the start of a workspace, one common, Im common imaging platform across the modalities of Philips. So we will have the same interface for CT and DXR in the future as well. Oh, awesome. And Phil, can you say quickly what is the highlight? Well, sure, how do we apply say, AI and what is so cool about sure, it? Sure, I would say um, if I had to talk about the major benefits of workspace is it allows the technologist all the information they need oh. to do their job immediately. For right. example, scheduling all the patients. So for example, if you had a patient and they were perhaps pregnant or they had a metal implant, that takes additional time to set it up. Right. So if you can do this all advanced, basically when you start the day, and as soon as that patient walks into the um, MR suite and they can announce that the patient is here, we can already start preparing and pulling them in. That's uh -huh. number one. I think that's a very large right. benefit, specifically to a technology, yep. but also to the overall suite to ensure that they operate efficiently over the whole day. We can start oh, sure. seeing how are they are they behind schedule or ahead of schedule. Oh, nice. A major um, additional aspect when it comes to AI though, is going to be so if we have a patient and we know they're gonna be scanned for the shoulder, mm -hmm. we already say, hey, we've already seen a patient like this. The AI, we're gonna start recommending protocols for the technologist to pull in right. for that body part. So what that really means is that the radiologist gets the images, uh -huh. whether or not it's technologist X, Y, or Z, you're probably going to get a very similar scan. Oh, that's awesome. yeah. so, so at the end of the day, it's about that workflow, it's about that productivity, and I think Marguerite said it best about having one universal platform right. between MR, CT, and One DSL. place to go. Yeah, that is and, powerful. Yeah. And AI throughout. So we love AI, but I think everybody here loves AI. So what we uh, uh, we want, to, I see already the images, and then my heart oh, starts beating. Right, that so cardiac too. Huh? We apply, apply AI throughout. Our scanners are smart, so we are able to uh, create di digital twins for remote servicing. We apply AI, so the staff is also better equipped. But our latest AI innovation is all about speed and image quality. That is the right. race. So with Compressense, we were already ahead in the speed race. Right. Now we've applied, applied AI on Compressense, and we introduced Smart Speed. So with Smart Speed, we are able to scan even faster, up to 56% faster than with T-Sense, but we also uh, are able to improve image quality. We have a wide applicability, up to 97% of the applications. So we say, higher image quality, more speed for every patient. Oh, nice. So you want to show uh, what we see? Yeah, let me come on this side so we can give a little mic action. Yeah. All right, so on the left here, we have used an acceleration with compressed sense of a factor of six, and you can see the image is very signal starved. However, when we use our smart speed capabilities, this image over here on the right is beautiful image quality. Right, oh my gosh, it's almost unreal. It is yeah. unreal. That's crazy. We're very really uh, proud of it. Looks really good. And just to be able to do that in a place like the heart where you have so much susceptibility, just so many different things going on, that's that's that's, that's powerful. It's really nice. And we can use it in different ways too. You 
can always reinvest that time savings into higher resolution. Right. In this case, more phases in the heart, which makes your image quality better. Now, is this certain sequences that this is just really good at doing, or are you just pretty much just an open box where you just turn it on and it kind of works for you? <laughs> it's really that easy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so really exciting. Just turn it on and it works. It can be used on almost all of our sequences. Nice. Um, it's just a really, really impressive. Yeah. And we also know that we have a very strong competitive edge. So right. it's really this journey uh, yeah. from the helium-free patients. Yeah, and if we end here, this is usually the... <laughs> right, the cherry on top right yeah, there. And we actually ourselves love to watch these images all the time. This is, this is amazing. Uh, amazing. Man, how can we not be excited about this, right? Yeah. The, the, it's, it's just a great time to be in the field of MRI. It really is. Man, the way things are moving. Well, well thank you so much. Thank this you for having great. the tour and sharing the experience. Yeah.